Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Xander Unboxed. Today I'm here to review the Mezco Five Points Popeye Deluxe Box Set. <clears throat> I received this as a Christmas present, and I am very generous, I'm very thankful for it. I do have a holiday go mess coming, so stay tuned for that. But here is the front of the packaging, showing off all four figures and the diorama. Here's a side displaying all five figures in a comic format, and same on this side. On the top and bottom, a nice um, shiny Popeye Deluxe box set on there. On the back, I, sorry for the rip, I have opened this previously, but um, there is it displays all four figures, their accessories, and then the diorama. So, to open this, basically you can just cut it with tape, or not cut it with tape, cut the tape, and uh, just pull it out. They will come up and down. Set this over here. So here they are in a tray. It is a double layered tray. So when you pull this piece off, they are very protected, which is good. I have already removed all the wrappings and so as I said, I have opened this before, but there is this piece that covers, and then there are these tabs in here. You can kind of just push your finger around. Try to make sure not everything comes flying out. So here we are. Um, I'll give you a quick look. It's pretty much the same. But yeah, we'll get these guys out here and then we'll build the diorama. Okay guys, and I got all the figures out. They're absolutely stunning. So like I said, I have played around with these a little bit. And going back and looking at some source material for the comic books and the comic strips, these are incredibly accurate and they just look incredible. For the looks alone, I would say they are worth the price of admission. Like, they look incredible. We'll get some close-ups here in a minute. But to furthermore add to the comic book aesthetic and to why this is a deluxe set, we have the diorama here, which I need to build. So I will give you... We'll start with looking at the figures. We'll look at Olive Oil. So here is Olive Oil, very comic book accurate. You can see she's smiling. Um, she's in kind of more of a crunched over position, but you can get her running and they're fairly decent, um, in detail. I'd say she's probably the most plain, maybe, mm, I'd say she's the most boring of them, but it's accurate. I really like the shoes. They're very accurate and she comes with zero accessories. So that was kind of interesting when I first saw this go up on the site long, long ago, when that went up. Uh, second off, here's Rough House. I really like him. He has a stogie, or a cigar. Um, he's wearing his uh, mustard-colored shirt with the maroon undershirt and just painted hands. Very clean. He's got a chef hat and his apron. Very good detail there. He's gritting his teeth. Looks kind of upset. And for accessories, he comes with one frying pan and Uno spatula. One spatula. And you can just slide those into his hands very easily. They just go right in. You know, you can make them cook in and beating up somebody with the pans. And then we'll look at Bluto next. So Bluto is the most heavy. And I feel like he's probably my favorite out of this whole set. He does have a little bit of paint on the back, but I don't really care. I'm not going to be looking at the back too often. Uh, the face sculpt is absolutely incredible on this one. Um, they all are incredible, but I think Bluto has the best. Um, I love the sculpt of the hand, the closed fists. Um, I don't know what gets me going on that. I just really like it. The sculpt work is really good. He's fairly simplistic. But like I said, on olive oil, it's very accurate. If you actually lift up the toe, you can see the line in the shoe. 
which is something that's I did not expect, but it's very good attention to detail. Blue Doll also comes with two interchangeable arms for gripping hands. Uh, if you want him to get a hold of the spinach uh, for some reason, or you want him to like, carry olive oil, you can do that, whatever suits you. And then we have the man, the main man himself, Popeye. He looks absolutely incredible. His eyes are more of like a brownish color, which kind of threw me off at first, but it looks fairly natural. He's got his pipe, as always. Really nice sculpted detail on the um, anchor. They actually are sculpted, which is very nice. Um, he's shorter than all the rest, as he should be, and he also has the line on the boot. Um, his neck, he is slouched over with his neck like he always is. No, um, like... I don't even know what you would call them. Points coming out on the back of the elbows, though. That's something that kind of throws me off. That's something like I always see. My mental image of Popeye has him doing this, and he's got the thing coming out of his elbow. It's weird. It's weird elbows. But that's kind of a personal thing. Ooh, not the spinach. Popeye comes with um, two interchangeable arms, also with the sculpted anchor, and they are more gripping hands, of course. So you can grip the spinach. It is very small. I'll try to show you that it actually has a little indent in it. And the spinach is coming out one side. So if we... The arms are fairly easy to pop out. You kind of just wiggle them until you pull them out. You want to be sort of careful. The pegs are fairly big, but you just never know. Uh, and then here we go. Arm pops right in. And you can get them in that stance. I like to push the hand to where the thumb is um, kind of holding on to the uh, end of the spinach. It's a very tight fit. You'd think you'd want to put it on the indent, but it kind of scares me that it's a tiny bit loose. So if you turn his head, you can make him uh, eat the spinach. So the articulation on these is five points, as the line is called. Um, so we'll just demonstrate it on Bluto real quick. So the head can go left and right. Um, the arms can go all the way around. And the legs can kick out and kick back. Which, if you count both arms, both legs, the head, it's five points for articulation. Same with Popeye. Popeye is not too much different. The head is a bit tighter on that. Olive oil, you kind of want to be careful when you're moving the arms because they're very, very thin. Um, but I think she's, it's fairly safe. And Rough House is like the same as Bluto and Popeye, except the legs cannot really go forward because of the apron. So that's fine. Now we're going to get some close-up shots on the diorama, and then we'll get some uh, close-up shots of the figures in the diorama. Okay guys, so here we are inside the actual diorama. I wanna lift this up so we can see a little bit more. But it's very cool. I really like the comic aesthetic to it. You have an open wall on this side, uh, just holding it up. I did put on mine pretty tight, so it's fairly, like I said, tight. You can kinda of see into the kitchen back there, all the rough house signs and the open, the bottles and such. And then we get the little table which is the easiest thing to assemble. Uh, there's like an egg, some spilled like beer or whatever you want to say it is. Just some stuff, some wear and tear all over it. Some eggs, coffee mug. So it's really cool. And to grab Bluto here, he's a little bit bigger than the other ones. Um, it's like put him up next to the table. You know, you can have like him slamming Popeye or something into it. And I'll have pictures of all this at the end and such but the um you can spin around to the side like i said it's just simplistic it's simple uh on the back we have a little back alleyway so you can have multiple different settings with two trash cans and a little like bell or whatever you want to say that is and over here we have another side with the matching window it's from the inside and a fire hydrant so it looks super nice and if you're wondering at the top it's just fairly simple and on the bottom just has all the copyrights and such so yeah let's um take a look at the figures inside okay guys so here's a little scene i came up with um it's bluto basically knocking 
down the table with Popeye on it. Popeye shooting his spinach there. Um, olive oil's pretty worried. And, uh, yeah, we'll have our next okay, scene. Okay, guys, here. so here we have another scene. It's Rough House uh, cooking here in the back uh, on the table here. And it's Popeye and Pluto. But, uh, Brawl, the one thing I will say about Popeye that I wish he came with, that the one twelfth one comes with, was a pointing finger hand. I could have sacrificed one of the gripping hands for that, but obviously Mesco didn't. And there's Pluto uh, in olive oil. And again, spectating what's about to happen. So yeah, guys, thank you for joining in. I really appreciate it. Um, we're going to move on to some size comparisons, and then we'll uh, get to the pictures at the end. Okay, guys, so welcome to the size comparison little part of this. Um, so we're going to start it with Rough House uh, compared to Blue Dog here. And there, Blue Dog's a little bit taller. Here he is next to Papa. And here he is next to Olive. And then we'll start comparing it to some other lines. Like here we have my Kit Bashed uh, Motu Origins. Alcala Skeletor, which is like 5.5 to 6 inch range. So he'll stand here um, compared to Rough House. And then we got a Disney exclusive and Target exclusive uh, Mountain Trooper compared to them. So you can see they are on the 3 and 3 quarter inch side of things as they're advertised as. Here we have a Marvel Legends um, Star Boost Iron Man. And here is my only other Mezco product besides uh, something wrong that they sent me that we're going to get sorted out, which is when Holiday Gomez will be coming. But it's a Gold Skull Ninja. So that's a really nice figure. Uh, and here he is next to a vintage Star Wars. Let's see. 1980 Bosque, 1980 Bosque, and they're like exactly the same height. And we'll just do basically the same, the same little size comparisons for each figure here. Yeah, but you, you get the idea. They're fairly small. I'll compare Popeye to a six inch one here because he is fairly small. So, yeah, guys, that's going to be my review. Um, I'm going to be wrapping up on this. Thank you guys for watching. Please be safe. Uh, be safe out there and um, just do good. And one last little comparison here he is next to a little Mezzet. My first little Mezzet here with the new skull face and chainsaw mask thing. It's fairly new at least. Um, yeah, so thank you for joining me on this. Um, Please stay tuned for the adventures. Holiday Gomez review should be coming up soon. And uh, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Please stay tuned for the pictures. Bye. <laughs>